Okay, we are recording, but first and foremost, let's get some music going in the background. All right, there we go. What is going on, guys? NG is back again for another fantastic episode of VEDA. VEDA stands for Vlog Every Day in April, and this is day four. That's right, day four. So technically five days in, counting day zero, but we're making progress here. So it is Saturday, April 4th, and it is a beautiful sunny day outside. You don't really see that too often, especially in the last couple weeks. But spring is almost in full effect. It's been raining a lot the past couple days, but when you get a nice beautiful day like this in the 50s, it feels like a day in the 80s. So, you know, it's pretty good. Again, apologize for the undershirt. I'm on break at work right now and I would close on Saturday evenings. So unfortunately, I'm not really gonna have too much time to upload a VEDA video when I get home because I'm gonna be pretty damn tired. So, you know, we're being resourceful here. Anyway, um, the topic for today's episode, um, I think I'm kind of gonna wing it. Uh, this is something that a lot of people have been asking me about for the past couple of years, really. And it has to do with relationships. Um, females, what kind of females am I into? Um, what do I look for in a woman when I'm going into a relationship? And I've talked about this in live streams before, but you know, I felt like sharing um, what I actually look for in a female. So to be point blank, I know a lot of people when they say, what are you looking for in a female? They start off first with ethnicity. They say, oh, you know, I only date X ethnicity, Y ethnicity, you know, they look for that in females. And I really have no real preference when it comes to whatever a girl's race is, you know, because I believe they're beautiful women of all races, of all ethnicities. So that's not the biggest thing to me. And the past couple of relationships that I've been in, it's been with women from different ethnicities. Eh, can't even speak today. You know, I've been with white girls, black girls, Latinas, you know, have not gotten an Asian yet, but uh, one day I'll work on that. And I know someone's about to come in here saying, what is it with you black guys and Asian women? But, you know, I, I, I do kind of want to experience the entire world, if that makes sense. I know I'm going to get a bunch of racist comments because of that. But um, yeah, I don't really look at race too much when it comes to women. Um, I look for personality. Obviously, that is a main thing that's going to keep me coming back for more because I want to be with somebody who I can connect with on not just a physical level, but emotional and just everything from there. Because, you know, while having a physical attraction to a person is great, there are a lot of benefits to it. You know, there's only so far you can go with that. You want to have someone who's able to connect with you. Um, that's the number one thing that I look forward to. Of course, people are going to say, oh, you see, t typical answer, you look for what's inside that matters and not what's outside so you don't care about what they look. Wrong. When it comes to personal appearance, I take pride in somebody who, you know, looks very good, somebody who maintains their appearance because you're ma maintaining your personal appearance says a lot more about you than you think. A lot of people think that, oh, you know, I'm just gonna dress whatever I want and it doesn't matter because I have an amazing personality. You know, that may be true for, you know, 10% of you. You know, I, I think that if a person takes care of themselves, now I'm not talking going out of their way to look like a supermodel, I'm talking basic hygiene, you know, they fix their hair, they wear decent clothes that, you know, fit their physique and everything, I think, that says a lot about them because they take care of themselves. And yes, we do live in a society that prides itself on how well you maintain yourself. That is true. And to some degree, we all do believe that. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be with somebody who looks good. Because if you spend all this time looking good for yourself and the person who you're with is a slob and doesn't take care of themselves, you know, where where is the attraction in that? You want a person long-term who can take care of themselves. Because if this is someone who you're gonna be in a relationship with, someone who you're gonna be introducing to your parents, your close family friends, or someone who you're gonna have kids with, you wanna make sure that, you know, they can at least dress your kids appropriately. And of course, I'm not saying this in the extreme sense that, you know, you have to look like a supermodel every single where you go. I'm talking th handling the basics, taking everything into account, which isn't too much to ask, you know, because if you're a person who, man, doesn't even brush their teeth, who, you know, doesn't, you know, floss, who doesn't rinse, mouthwash, who doesn't, you know, just do the basic stuff, you know, proper hygiene, you know, that says a lot about you. And there's no shame in wanting a person who takes care of themselves. So, you know, 
I do think personal appearance matters in this respect, and it's not a bad thing. I don't know why so many people are saying that, oh, you know, just because you want a girl who looks good or you want to be with a dude who looks good, that you're just shallow. You're not shallow. You just want them to take care of themselves, you know, not just for you, but for their health as well. So I think that, you know, their personal appearance can say a lot about them in both a positive and a negative way. You know, it could say it in a positive way that they actually take care of themselves and it could say it in a negative way that maybe they are really so shallow that they do worry about what a person cares about them. You know, there's always like a middle ground. There's always a gray area. There's to, to every extreme, you know, so um, that's how it goes in that respect. But back on to the whole personality thing i'm sorry i keep moving the phone i'm um, trying to get it where the light is perfect somewhat perfect um back onto the personality um the whole personality aspect kind of mirrors uh myself and who i am as a person because you know i'm not i was okay this goes back to high school i was never the most popular dude out there um i wasn't you know the recluse the shallow dude i wasn't the person who hung out with any particular click i just basically did my did my own thing you know i was i guess you could say quiet but that was only because i didn't find the need to associate with everybody i had my own group of friends and everything was cool and you know my group of friends were people from different cliques you know we had jocks we had nerds we had you know some of the um um just different social cliques all coming in together and communicating sort of like the united nations if you, if you want to say it like that um and one of the things about me that kind of it's not really necessarily one of my downfalls but when i when i come to when it comes to talking with uh people you know if i get to know a person really well i could talk to that person for hours upon hours upon hours as i'm sure any of you guys can but when it comes to you know random strangers sure i can hit up a conversation with somebody but it's not really gonna go somewhere you know i can talk to them for a couple minutes but then there's gonna be that awkward silence of you know well the awkward silence that sets in in any situation like that so one of the things that i do to kind of alleviate that is i incorporate some sarcasm into the mix and that's another thing i look for in a female if she's able to reciprocate you know my sarcasm or my moments of me just you know being quiet or just random weirdness you know what i'm saying then that's exactly what i want and in the past relationships that i've been in you know it's kind of been a hit, a hit or miss you know some of them have been able to some of them have been not uh, some of them have been not great grammar neo <laughs> some of them have not been able to but that's one thing that i really do like a girl who can be equally sarcastic with you a girl who can just play off of the things that you say so there's no weird awkward um awkward moments that's that's definitely what i look forward to in a in if what i look forward into a female and you know that's basically it it's just a person who takes care of themselves person has a great personality who is not afraid to be themselves who's able to laugh at certain things like let's say we're in a store and we mutually see something funny but we can't say it out loud so we just look to each other you know that's really what i kind of look at and a person who's able to play off of what your partner basically does um and that's basically me that's my type of girl i know to a lot it seems very traditional nothing too crazy you know why don't you want a person who does this 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 because i don't look about that stuff first because that is only necessary to me once i have made the decision to go after said female like her hobbies her goals you know where she wants to be in five to ten years that stuff is interesting to me after i get past that initial point because you don't want to overwhelm things in the very beginning because then you're going to be at like you're, you're going to be stuck like okay what do i want to do what do i don't want to do? what do i want to do what do i don't want to do so it's 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 definitely a deeper topic than a lot of people make it out to be but i'm just really traditional in that respect so um what do you guys look forward to in a spouse what do you look forward to in a male what do you look forward to in a female let me know down in the comments sections below and yeah, for me to you for now, I'm in GS signing off from day cuatro of Veda, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.